Departing from a soft or grass field comes with its own unique set of challenges. Proper technique is required from the moment you begin to move the airplane from its parking location until you are safely clear of any obstacles and established in a normal climb. Before you begin to taxi the airplane on any soft surface, remember to hold the yoke fully aft to minimize the weight on the nose wheel, thereby keeping it from becoming stuck in the turf. At the same time, you must also apply proper crosswind correction just as you would during taxi operations on a paved surface. With a soft field takeoff, it is important to remember that the performance of the airplane will be reduced by the increased friction with the soft surface. Be sure to calculate your takeoff data and evaluate it against field and weather conditions to be sure that you can safely depart and clear any obstacles. Prior to entering the runway for departure, ensure that the before takeoff checklist and before takeoff final items have been completed. Don't forget to set the flaps to 10 degrees. As you enter the runway, hold the yoke fully aft and position the flight controls in the appropriate direction for the wind conditions. Minimize your use of braking and keep the airplane rolling so that it doesn't become stuck in the soft surface. Make the appropriate call out once you have verified that you are on the correct runway. As you line up with the runway center line, smoothly apply full throttle. As you are applying the power, the elevator will become effective almost immediately, so it will be necessary to relax the back pressure on the yoke in order to prevent a tail strike. For a pitch reference, try to keep the nose of the airplane aligned with the treetops at the end of the runway. Check that the engine instruments and tachometer are in the green and make your callouts. In the green. As the airplane accelerates, maintain directional control and the runway center line with the rudder pedals. As your speed increases, you will need to continually relax the back pressure on the yoke to maintain that same pitch attitude until the airplane lifts off the ground. Because of ground effect and the use of flaps, the airplane will most likely become airborne at a very low airspeed, even below stall speed. You do not want to climb out of ground effect, or you could stall the airplane, and since you'd only be a few feet off the ground, well, that would not end well. As the main gear lifts off the ground, push forward on the yoke to keep the airplane in a level flight attitude, hovering in ground effect just a few feet off of the ground. If there are no obstacles at the departure end of the runway, accelerate to obstacle clearance speed while in ground effect, and then establish a VY pitch attitude and climb out. If, however, there are obstacles to be cleared, accelerate to obstacle clearance speed while in ground effect, then pitch for and maintain that speed, climbing out until the obstacles have been cleared. Once the obstacles have been cleared, pitch for VY. With a positive rate, depress the brake pedals and make your call out. Once the airplane has accelerated above 65 knots, retract the flaps to zero degrees and maintain the VY pitch attitude. From here on out, continue climbing using the normal takeoff procedures. Now that we've covered how to fly the maneuver, let's look at the end goals for your skills in a soft field takeoff. Some of the standards for the end of course check ride include ensure the aircraft is properly configured, clear the area, taxi into takeoff position, and align the airplane on the runway center line without stopping while advancing the throttle smoothly to take off power. Establish and maintain a pitch attitude that will transfer the weight of the airplane from the wheels to the wings as rapidly as possible. Lift off at the lowest possible airspeed consistent with safety and remain in ground effect while accelerating to VY or VX as appropriate. Establish a pitch attitude for VY or VX as appropriate and maintain that selected airspeed plus 10 or minus 5 knots during the climb. Maintain takeoff power and VY plus 10 minus 5 knots to a safe maneuvering altitude. Complete the appropriate checklist.